Hello, my name is Amanda and I'm 27 years old. I really enjoyed uh, Torben's uh, lecture here today. Uh, it was uh, pretty nice that we interact with uh, the colleagues around the lecture hall and he even made me laugh so much that I was crying. Thumbs up for Torben. And uh, we're supposed to be to, together for about one and a half hour or something like that and I have planned to provoke you a little. How, how is that in Celtic? Okay. <laughs> there are two reasons why the brain loves habits. The first one is it saves energy. This is the three types of habits we also have. We have physical habits, we have mentally habits, how we think and how we feel. And, and physical habits, the actions. If you look at me now, I show you some of the physical habits. Do you have a permanent pattern thinking of in which position you fall asleep at night? Do you have a permanent pattern thinking of in which position you fall asleep? Do you? Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. What about you, sir? I think so. You think so? And you? Always. always. <laughs> Two yeses and a maybe. So when we look at habits, we always look at what do we get out of it and does it help us to reach our goals? For me, ready for change is not good enough any longer. It's not good enough any longer. Because when I'm ready for change, I'm more like, like this. Say, I'm ready, yeah. I'm the most ready in this company. You just told, tell me what to do. But the thing is, it's not, it's not enough anymore. We also have to create change. But if you, like to ask, if you ask your brain, do you like changes? It says no, because it saves energy. Each of us also have to create change. And that could be just to speak to another colleague walk another way and so on. It doesn't have to be a whole new market or, or an, a product line or something we have to create, but small changes that make the big successes. Yeah, my name is Bjarne. I'm from Celtic in Denmark and uh, it's the second time I joined uh, Torben at, at his courses, speeches. And um, he's saying a lot of good things, useful things. And he's got a great humor. Uh, everything combines. Uh, it's a great show. Thanks a lot. The most important need you and I have mentally need, what is that? That is to feel safe. That's also why we ask our loved ones, do you love me, honey? <laughs> and that answer, you have to answer faster than that. <laughs> <laughs> but then you also find companies who are very good at making voluntary change. They change before they have to. 90% of their income came from a thing that made people mad. It works, so why change it? Because you still want to stay in the market. That's why we have to change. And not only be ready to change, but also create the change. If your horse is dead, get off. Uh, and I don't know if you know that expression, but if your horse is dead, get off, it means actually, if what you do doesn't work, do something else. And I hope you got some inspiration to see if you can change something here or there, so everything will be even more successful. So thank you very much and, and enjoy the rest of the day and the party and have a nice weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I really liked it. It was um, especially the interaction with the audience and it was fun and uh, very thoughtful and interesting. Great.